Hello everyone and welcome to video 101, 101. Uh, this is Noah, I'm Bill. Um, so today we are going to read Would I Treat My Parents by Lauren <laughs> So he's going without armbands for for this one. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I know you can do it. <laughs> Jason wouldn't treat his parents. He thinks they're the best. His dad builds houses. He even built the house they live in. It has lots of great places for hide and seek. Play hide and seek with his brother. Jason's mom stays home and takes care of his twin sisters, Sarah and Lily. She says it's the best job in the whole world. His parents make blueberry pancakes for breakfast. I wish my parents made blueberry pancakes for breakfast. Katie wouldn't trade her parents. She thinks they're the best. Katie's mom is a dentist. She drives a big old convertible. Sometimes she takes us for a ride and puts the top down. It's neat to look up at the sky. Katie's father is an eye doctor. He has a stamp collection. Her parents let her watch TV until 8 o'clock. She just has to have her homework finished first. I wish my parents let me watch TV until 8 o'clock. <laughs> ben wouldn't trade his parents. He thinks they're the best. His mom is an artist. She painted a picture of Ben. It looks just like him. His dad is a photographer. He went to Africa and, and took lots of pictures. They even have a lot, one of a lion. There are paintings and photographs all over the house. Ben and his parents like to go camping. I went with them once. We slept under the stars. I wish my parents let me sleep under the stars. Sydney would trade her parents. She thinks they're the best. Her mom is taller than her dad. She's a hairdresser. Her hair always looks nice. So does Sydney's. Her dad is a plumber. He fixed our sink when it leaked. At night, her parents teach square dancing in their basement. Sydney and I like to dance with them. Once we bumped into our father while we were dancing and couldn't stop giggling. <laughs> Sydney is allowed to have her chocolate milk before dinner. I wish my parents let me have chocolate milk before dinner. William wouldn't trade his parents. He thinks they're the best. He lives with his mother but sees his father every weekend. I asked him if he missed having his dad around. He said he does, but they have a great time when they're together. We went to a baseball game. He has his own bedroom in both of their houses. His dad does something in an office, but I'm not sure what. His mom owns a pet shop. William has three cats, two hamsters, some fish, and a dog named Olive. I wish my parents let me have a dog. And then there were our, my parents. My mother is a French teacher. She taught me that très bien means very good, and merci means thank you. Not only is she smart, but she also ha tells great jokes. She can play the piano. Sometimes we play duets. Sometimes, whenever I feel sad, she knows just the right thing to say. My dad is a writer. He works at home in the den. He writes books for grown-ups. When I come home from the school, we go for a walk and talk about all kinds of things. He knows a lot about nature. He told the names of all the different clouds. My parents don't let me eat blueberry pancakes for breakfast like Jason, or watch TV until 8 o'clock like Kate, or go camping like Ben, or drink chocolate milk before dinner like Sydney, or have pets like William. But my mom puts a note in my lunchbox every day, and my dad reads to me every night. And on weekends, we all go for a bicycle ride. I wouldn't trade my parents. I know they're the best. <laughs> That's a good book. What do you think? Would you trade your parents? <laughs> uh, that was Would I Trade My Parents by Laura Numeroff. It was very well illustrated, too. You got some marks on your face. Hmm. Um, so, so yeah, um, he's, he's going without armbands today, this morning. Um, woohoo. Um, so far so good. Um, in, uh, another video we'll talk about, um, uh, in self-interest behavior and that sort of thing. So, but for now we're ha ha happy, happy, happy. Uh, I just saw on Twitter that his, his challenger baseball team, um, uh, played a game, uh, at the softball world series. Um, I was going to have Noah do it, but, um, um, just life gets busy, you know, and, and, uh, we just didn't get around to it, but we really want to support our, 
Want to challenge your team? Go Orioles? Huh? It's the only time I'm going to say that. Because I'm an Yankee fan. So, they did really, really well. Check out the, the Challenger um, Baseball Facebook group. There's, there's one that you have to get invited to. But, uh, but there's uh, Twitter pages and stuff. But it was also in the newspaper because it was at the... Is that the softball world series down the road here? Um, so we got that. We're gonna go to the beach today. So hopefully we'll share some uh, some knowledge about that and some uh, some pictures and stuff um, on our Facebook page uh, Noah's Path. So go check that out. Um, we're gonna go to the beach so that we can bring his sister to a week long camp over there just before school starts. That'll be pretty fun, huh? <laughs> but hopefully the beach will be nice uh, today. So. Uh, check out our Instagram and Facebook page, like always. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, we'll go from there. Okay? Yeah. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, you never said hi to everybody. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Hi. Hey, look. Say, hey. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, I just put up a post. Yeah. That we went back past our 100th book that we've read um, since, I think, March we started this. But um, we passed our 100th book, so we want to do a giveaway. So um, um, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe there. Um, we would love for you to win this awesome prize that we're hope we'll hopefully be announcing very, very soon. Um, anyway, comment below, like, share, subscribe. All right. Take care, guys. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. All right? All right. <laughs> see you later.